Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Steve, a jackass of all trades. Um, in the first video, we went through how to make the um, two and a half by inch and a quarter bushing. And um, in the second half of this video, we've got um, the installation of the pond pump, the skimmer, and, uh, and that sort of stuff. So I hope you enjoy what, uh, what we've got to show you here. Thanks for watching. Here's the pond. I'll just put this little skimmer in here. Over the years, I've uh, I've never had a skimmer, and uh, this tree just kills me. So I finally decided to change things up. I have a above water pump over against the uh, retaining wall over there, and um, if I have a power failure, I lose the prime. So I'm switching it up to a submersible pump and a skimmer and possibly increase the waterfall as well as um, have uh, remote control and scheduled so it can be turned down and turned up um, on a schedule. So I'll, uh, I'll set you down and we'll get to work. did here I uh, I took the new pond pump and put my vacuum hose on it and basically flooded the yard tried to use my piece of gutter and went up stepping on it bending it so you know so that's about as far as I'm gonna go down um, I'll get my boots on and get in here and start putting the skimmer and that sort of stuff I want to leave as much water as I can for the uh, for the goldfish and then we'll uh, fill it back up. Now that it's all down to a reasonable level, um, what I've got here is a skimmer. So it sits in the bottom of the pond. I'll show you how it works once it's all done. But what I've got here is this is a inch and a half um, uh, fitting. So this ABS YT fits on it nicely um, What this is for is this is a foot valve and we'll go to the This will go to the pump and The reason for that is if the water level in the pond gets too low this begins to suck air This is going to still pull water and protect the pump also um, I think um, This size of the pump 5,000 cubic feet per hour or 5,000 gallons per hour um, it's going to be a little bit too fast for this skimmer. So if I need to, I'll put a valve in here and I can start to balance it. But we're just going to hook it up and uh, see how it goes. So I'll get in the pond, do some leveling out, and uh, get this installed. Well, I don't have a camera stand. So you're going to have to suffer with a little bit of the shot back in the corner of the shot. And it's going to start to rain soon. So I'm not going to screw around too long. I'm just going to get this done. Okay. Well calculated the right depth anyway, at least in my boots. So it's going to sit like that. And it's a matter of getting it somewhat level.
pretty good eye, and I think that's close enough to level. Because this is going to have some forgiveness in it, but I think it will. Yeah, yeah. I can shim this up just a bit. <clears throat> And I'm not gluing any of this stuff. All of this is fairly tight fit on the, uh, and it's on the suction side. So it's being pulled together rather than pushed apart. So if I need to, I'll put a self tapping screw in it and uh, that'll give me comfort that it won't come apart. And again, on the suction side, so the worst is going to happen. Suck in some extra water. Okay, now i got to get the pump in. So, I need 2 inch iron pipe steel to inch and a half ABS. So again, just a little bushing. I go on the back, on the suction side of the pump. <clears throat> and I've got a little piece of inch and a half ABS that I scrounged from a plumber buddy of mine. Now this is of course better to do in, <laughs> in the, uh, in the real world. You know what I'm recognizing here? I can reverse this. I need this 90 degrees. So I'm going to put this on the run and put the pump on the suction. And that way I have a little bit better angle to line up with. And I can um, set the pump on top of some tile. Ideally this would be all be done when it was um, empty but I didn't have the parts and pieces so you can tell how long that is about three and a half inches little magic trick from here to here on your social finger or your driving finger depends what part of the country you're in this is three inches so if you want to measure, if you're grabbing, rummaging through a bunch of pipe nipples, you want to know what three inches is? It's the length of your social finger. It's pretty close. Give it a try, measure it. So I know I need about three inches, so I'm gonna jump out, cut that off with a handsaw. Okay, little three inch nipple, and we'll Get her in here. There. there. Alright. Okay. Suction side is in. And this is adjustable. For varying heights. So I'll get the level out. I know where my water level is. Right over here. So I got my level. This has got about a six inch modulation so to speak to uh, get that dialed in so here's that bushing I made so it's got to go into the pump and then what I'm gonna do is go with a adapter 90 or barb 90 we call them as well this isn't a this isn't a street elbow this is that's a street elbow. If this was a male thread on this end, it'd be called a street. Um, the reason why is, is when they drill and tap a water main, they thread this in there and it's pointing in the right direction, ready to go. So that's why it got its nickname. 
So I'm going to put my bushing in and then like so. That's the rig I made. I'm going to spin that in there. And then I can point this any direction I want and I will take these two, put them together, cut this back and this will give me any angle I want to accommodate this goofiness. And that'll take all of that up. And thank you very much to the manufacturers. They'll always put the barcode right where you're gonna be in the way. Okay, that's that. Get the get a cutter. Okay, pipe cutter. It's not really for inch and a quarter. We're gonna make it work. Very, very handy tool for a lot of things. Don't put your finger on it or anything else that looks like a finger. Snippy, snippy. If I had prepared myself a little bit better, I would have not had to buy hose clamps at the hardware store because my boat is buried in them. But I can't think of everything all the time. Now, if I'm lucky, nope, I have to cut it again. Okay. <clears throat> so that's making, that's making. Of course, if there was a chance for it to fall in the water, it was going to. Okay. Clamps on. Now, if I wasn't in such a hurry to get this done. Oh look, I made it short. No, fine. <clears throat> but I wasn't in such a hurry to get this done. I heat up the polyethylene, that's this black stuff. I'd heat that up in um, a little bit of hot water. That makes it so much softer and uh, goes on to the barb easier. Okay, it's <clears throat> 5 sixteenths. On a driver. Okay. Tied up. Now, remember I told you we had a pump in line. So now I gotta go in the bush and cut that out of the way. Um, but in the meantime, I can start um, no, I gotta get a level, set this, and then uh, start filling the hose. Not filling the hose, filling the pond with the hose. Okay, fishies, out of the way. Alright, this is my critical water level. That is maximum height right there. start filling it. Okay, I got the pond filling. 
and I forgot that bucket. <clears throat> Let's not count on it floating to me. Okay. Um, so that's the submersible pump installed. That's going to get some growth on it and stuff, and it'll uh, it'll basically disappear in the water. What we had here, and I'll show you, is I had one of these iron mic pumps. And this has been running for years. I've had years and years of success with this. But <clears throat> I always got an airlock there. And so now I'm going to get in here and I'm going to move that 90 up to there, um, to right there. And then I'll put a coupling in there and I've got a coupling right there. So I'll get that, tie that in. And that'll be to the discharge side. So um, there's nowhere to nowhere to have you guys enjoy my company while I do that. So I'm just gonna hit pause and I'll show you the results. Okay, I got all hooked up. <laughs> Goldfish are freaking out because the water is changing. <laughs> and uh, here's a controller that I got to mount. This is variable speed and. A Wi-Fi controlled and all that sort of stuff. It's actually pretty cool. And this is the uh, this is the coupling and repair that I've I've done. So I'll pull this all out for now. There you go, out of sight, out of mind. And we'll turn this thing on and see what happens. There you go, level one. So. Of course it's pulling air because a pump will draw whatever's easier um, but the pump is flooded for sure um, so it's not running dry that 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 we know so um, let's just uh, pause and go up to the well you can hear it drinking a little bit let's go up to the upper pond here okay here's the upper pond that fish down there Okay, there's proof right there. So we do have pump protection with that little deal I made up. So that's good because that little bit of water that's going to keep that's going to keep the car cartridge lubricated and not burn out any seals. So that's good, and that's on level one. So excited to uh, get this uh, filled up and. Uh, See how it's gonna see how it's gonna go. Oh, I mean, it's starting to get starting to get a little action on the waterfall here. Okay, I got things fired up here, and skimmer is functioning pretty good. So, and there she goes. So, basically, there's the pump. There's the you saw it in the other earlier portion of the video. Um. So this is, that's a floating skimmer. I have it in the pond um, for, for the season, so to speak, just to get all the leaves and stuff. So this is um, an Aquascape uh, pump. Uh, I think it's 5,000 liters per, 5,000 gallons per hour. So that's on setting one. And there's the waterfall. Not bad. So we're going to set that up for nighttime. time. The bedroom's right behind me. And this is the controller here. So if I take us all the way up to 10, you'll see the skimmer is really performing well. There's a portion of the water obviously coming in from underneath. I'll have to figure out um, you know, maybe I have to throttle it down. It's just going to take some time to, to fiddle with it because I want the skimmer to do its work, but I also want to protect the pump in case I lose some water. So now we've got a pretty good, pretty good waterfall going and the water level, pardon me, the water sound has come up quite a bit. And uh, the goldfish seem to like it. So, okay, well, thanks for watching and uh, this, uh, puts a close on this project and uh, we'll see you on the next one.